Hey campers, welcome to Camp Kate. Do you, do you hear that noise? What is Do you know what that is? Yes, it's an excavator. And guess what? Today we get to go to the construction site and check one out up close and personal. Did you know that those big machines like excavators and dump trucks and cranes, they're put together with these nuts and bolts. How amazing is that? We're gonna talk about these a little bit later, but right now we're gonna get ready to go to the construction site. I'm so excited to check out these big machines and I might even take one for a ride. We'll see you there. Hey kids, welcome to the construction site. Today we get to take an up close look at all three of these really awesome machines. Are you excited? I am. This is so cool. Check this out. Have you guys seen one of these before? Do you know what they're called? This is an excavator. Look how big it is. I can literally stand underneath it. Hey kids. This is my buddy Dale here, and he's about to take me for a ride in the excavator. I'm so excited. Let's go see what this thing can do. Like some other construction machines, excavators move around on tracks instead of tires. It makes them much more stable. Look at this, kids. I'm sitting in an actual excavator. This is so cool, and you know what's there's air conditioning in here. How neat is that? This thing is amazing. There's a camera here that shows where you're going, all these different controls, the brake, everything. Are you ready to do some digging? Let's see this thing in action. Oh my goodness, look at that. This machine is so powerful. Wow. Hello children, it's me, Fun Fact Felicity, and I wanted to tell you, did you know most excavators can dig down about 16 meters? Or in America, that would be about 48 feet. Are you serious? Look at that huge hole this thing just dug. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. I know some of you kids know what this is behind me. That's right, it's a bulldozer. And you know what it does? It knocks things over. Instead of tires, the bulldozer has these really cool traps and that's what makes it move. This John Deere's weight is 18,000 pounds. That's nine tons. Bulldozers have to be powerful to knock things down or move big piles of dirt. They're strong, but they're slow. Five miles per hour forward or backwards is pretty much the top speed. I mean, I bet you could run faster than that. Guess what, kids? This thing, it's called the blade. And it's the blade of the bulldozer. And this is what pushes the earth and moves everything to make a clear path. How amazing. And this thing is so strong. Bulldozers hold about 50 gallons of fuel. I sure wouldn't want to take it to the gas station for a fill up. I think it would be so much fun to drive a bulldozer and scoop all that dirt. Do you see the way the dirt curls up over the blade? So neat. Bulldozers 
also smooth and pack down the ground. The tracks and the weight of the dozer help to pack down the earth as it drives over it. So the excavator might dig a hole and then the dozer would spread and smooth the dirt that was dug up. They work together like teammates. Behind me right here is what we call a bush hog, or it's a commercial mower. Come check it out. Look at how big the tires are. So this is a Kubota here, and what it does is it's attached to this back end, which is the mower, and that's what mows all the grass. And this thing is so powerful. I'm sure you've seen these on the side of the road when you're going up and down the freeway. And check out the tire and how big it is. It's almost as tall as me. A bush hog really is just a high powered professional lawn mower. Bush hogs on average could mow about 100 soccer fields in a day. That's a lot of grass. It would also cut tall weeds and brush or bushes. I guess that's why they call it a bush hog, because it really eats up the bushes and weeds. Hey kids, thanks for coming to the construction site today. I hope you learned a few things. Let's head back to the camp and see what else we got going on today. Hey campers, remember those big old machines that we just got to see? Well, what if I told you those giant machines are made out of these little pieces that holds it together? How crazy is that? Do you know what these are? Take a look. Yes, they're nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts are like puzzle pieces for those big machines and they hold them together. Let me show you. This is a nut. It's a tiny, it's kind of round and has a hole in the middle and that's where the bolt goes. This is a bolt. And this long skinny piece right here, those lines, those are called threads. And that's what goes inside the bolt that makes everything tight. Here, let me show you how it works. Have you ever heard of righty tighty lefty loosey? Well, that goes for this. Check it out. If you turn it to the left, it gets loose. And if you turn it to the right, it gets tight. And that's how it will hold the pieces together really tightly. Nuts and bolts are kind of like the glue that holds the machine together. Isn't that so neat? Hey kids, maybe your parents have some of these at home that you can use and you can try it out for yourself. Have fun. Well campers, that's another fun filled day at the camp. I hope you had fun. Oh, before you go, I have something just for you. Check this out. It's a tracing page with construction vehicles. How cool. All you need to do is have your parents click on the link in the description and you can print one at home. Hey, and if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our other adventures, subscribe. I hope you had fun today. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, make somebody smile today. Bye.